If you are watching, I want you to tune in because God is about to bless you. God is about to deal with things that have been bothering you and have been confusing you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We are grateful for your power. Ideba and ya katindo rokotia. Jebra te koto lebra hate yaba. Jebron do korebatia kama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hello. Welcome. My name is Faduk Wus and we are reaching you today uh, from Akob Greenest International Church in Bonsak Asaba, Nigeria. Malaya Prokoto. Today we have something to deal with, and I have with me here people that God is going to use to be a blessing to you. Um, this moment we are talking about combating evil dreams. Combating evil dreams or combating strange dreams. One fact of life you cannot take away from people is that people have strange dreams every day humans hallelujah you know the bible says in job chapter 33 verse 14 to 18 if you read that from the message bible you will like what it says so in case you are wondering about your dream you that is listening to me, maybe you dreamt last night and it's a confusing dream. We are talking about dreams that confuse. Demonic dreams, satanic dreams. A lot of people don't play on the power of dreams. I'm talking about dream of the night. I don't mean the dream of visions of destiny. I'm talking about dream of the night. And a lot of people don't play the power of dreams. But if you check through your Bible, you will discover that God spoke to a lot of people through dreams. I'm assuring you that under God, you are going to be blessed today. Believe me, combating evil dreams, dealing with straight dreams, strange dreams of the night. All right. So uh, let's look at the scripture. Job chapter 33, verse 14 to 18. Yes. What does it say? Let me hear you. Job chapter 33 from verse 14 to 18. It says, For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Mm -hmm. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the eyes of men, and sealeth their instruction, mm. that he may withdraw man from his purpose, mm. and hid pride from man. Mm. He keepeth back his soul from mm. the pit, mm. and his life from perishing by the sword. I read from the Message Bible, the same Job chapter 33, verse 14 to 18. It says, God always answers one way or another. Even when people don't recognize his presence, then he says, In a dream, for instance, a vision at night, when men and women are deep in sleep, fast asleep, in their beds, God opened their ears and impresses them with warnings to turn them back from something bad they are planning, from some reckless choice, and keep them from an early grave, from the river of no return. Let me hear you. Hallelujah. From here, I say, For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth not. God keeps speaking to man on daily basis. God keeps speaking to man through the Bible, through his servants, and so many other, you know, method and means. But men cannot, they do not perceive him. That means they don't hearken to the voice of God. So God now looks for a way to actually see what he can do to use another medium, and that is dream, to talk to men in diverse ways, to make them listen. To make them hear him to make them perceive what information is trying to pass across and also aside that 
Many men will have purposes in life, what we intend to do, but through dreams, God can talk to us to either leave that purpose or pursue another purpose. And also God through dreams also uh, uh, lift back his soul from the pit. The soul of man, if man is going to be destroyed through dreams, that man can be you know, lifted up. Like what happened in Genesis chapter 40 from verse 8, where Joseph was in prison. They, he had, uh, you know, in that same prison, the likes of the baker and the butlers. These are men that were working with uh, Pharaoh. And they had dreams, and they lacked the interpretation to those dreams. And in that dream, men, one of them was to be blessed, one of them was to be delivered, the other one was to be killed. One, after having that dream, Joseph had to come in with the interpretation that God has given him to enable him to actually give them insight to those dreams. One that he professed that within three days that he's going to be delivered. And the other one had a dream where uh, he baked bread for Pharaoh because in three days' time, Pharaoh was to have his birthday. He baked bread for uh, Pharaoh. And in that same dream, that his head was used to serve that bread. And Joseph gave the interpretation that he's not going to survive that dream. That after that, that within, within that birthday, that is good, judgment is going to be passed on him and he will die. And that was what happened. So God speaks to us through diverse means, through dreams, to actually deliver man from Shout entering the pit, and also to actually make you change some of the bad decisions, some of the bad businesses, some of the bad relationships you are going to enter for you to turn away from it, because the end shall lead to destruction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wonderful. All right. Praise the Lord. That is to tell you that God warns people through dreams. That is to tell you that God can give a message of deliverance to people through dreams. Look at that last part. He said to keep them from an early grave, untimely death. A lot of people have ended, a lot of people have ended their life in untimely death because they didn't listen to instructions and warnings. And God is so merciful that He talks to this everybody dreams. Science tells us that everybody dreams. Of course, it's not everybody that remember their dreams. To keep them, I like that last part, to keep them from an early grave. That's why we're talking about combating evil dreams. Look at Matthew. Praise God. So, Matthew chapter 2, if you read from verse 5 to verse 14, uh, the story talks about the wise men that came to see Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible... Uh, says in verse 10 when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy verse 11 and when they were come into the house they saw the young child with mary his mother and then they fell down and worship him and when they had opened their treasures they presented unto him gifts gold and frankincense and myrrh now verse 12 says and being warned of god in a dream that they should not return to Herod. What did the Bible say? say? They departed into their own country another way. If they had returned to Herod, Herod would have killed them. Being warned of God. They didn't hear a voice say, my son, my son, or you wise men, don't go back. They didn't see, they didn't hear a voice. They didn't see a pictorial vision with their eyes open. It was in a dream of the night. How many things do God tell people through the dream of the night and they are not paying attention? And then some people will tell you, forget your dreams. You a lady. Every time you see yourself swimming in a deep river, some people are putting crown on your head. Calling you princess. A lot of children surround you. A woman in that deep river you see yourself swimming in is calling you her daughter. A man is calling you his daughter. And then somebody tells you to ignore this. I don't know what has happened to people. That you don't understand the deep meaning of dreams doesn't mean they don't have meaning. God is not an entertainer. The key to many people's victory is in some revelation that they are seeing. A young man came to me. What did he say? He said, a revelation came. In their house in the village, they saw a big python. 
a, 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 a seat like a throne is on top of that house and a big python is calling round, round the chair or the throne. Until today, that house is still in a, a touch house. It means that there is an ancient power that has hijacked the enthronement in that family. And somebody say, ignore these things. Being warned of God, God warned them in a dream that they should what? Not return to Herod. The Bible says, they departed into their own country. Where? Another way. Verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph now in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child. Who are we talking about? We are talking about Jesus. God was warning the man that is called the father of Jesus, Joseph, the foster father. Je Hello. God didn't send the angels to come and war. God warned Joseph in a dream. Verse 13. And said, Take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. And be thou dear until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Verse 14. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night. By night. By night. He didn't wait till morning. By night. By night. People will dream. One week they have not attended to the matters of their dream. Two weeks. One month. Some two years. Three years ago, somebody you hear somebody. I've been dreaming every for the past three years. For the past three years, I've been dreaming. Every time I buy a new shoe, somebody will come and steal it. Every time I buy a new shoe, somebody will come and steal it. I've been dreaming. Somebody is coming to bab my hair in the dream. It's a message, child of God. When we talk about this thing, some religious folks now will tell me what am I talking about? And Jesus has delivered us, but we're talking about enforcing. The deliverance. There is the legal aspect of salvation and there is the vital aspect of salvation. Making it real in people's lives. That's what we're talking about. And relationships are broken. Marriages are broken. Somebody told me, a very close family person said to me, he has a few transport, uh, a few buses running in Lagos, like a transport business. And one day he called me. He said, last night, he dreamt and saw himself. A serpent, a snake was swallowing him. Snake swallowed him. He woke up and from the very next day, are you hearing me now? His boss is still having problems. Till now, the business has collapsed. No more bosses. That's why you must understand that Job chapter 33 verse 14 to 18 message bible it says god always answers one way or the other even when people don't recognize his presence verse 15 to 18 says in a dream for instance in a vision at night when men and women are deep in sleep fast asleep in their beds god opened their ears and impresses them with warnings that's to tell you that there are dreams that God used to warn with warnings to turn them back from something bad they are planning. In other words, through dream, God can reveal to you the right or wrong choice from some reckless choice and keep them from an early grave from the river of no return. Hallelujah. What can you say for that? Let's go to Agape. What can you say for share share with me something you know personal about your dream? What can you say for that about this issue of dreams? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Actually, personally, I am very glad for this um, opportunity that that we're all experiencing right now. Like personally, I've suffered a lot of setback. I've suffered a lot of um, denials out of ignorance. But by the grace of God, I. I was able to come in contact with a man of God that made me understand deep things of life. Before now, I would have dreams and I would just pray over it and let it go. I never knew that God has been merciful, showing me things that, are, that needed to be handled. 
that would quicken my, my journey in life. But then, thank God for grace. Thank God for his mercies. I had to bring back um, experiences that I've been having, dreams I have had years back. They were all undone. And I was, I was even marveled at the time. The things I was hearing from um, some of these powers, like the manifestations and everything that has led to my setback. But I give God the praise today that things have gone back to normal and um, to God be the glory, I have series of testimonies, even some that I'm here to share. So um, I really want you to understand that there's a thing as understanding your dream. Dreams are not meant to be ignored, whether good or bad. No matter how it comes, they are not meant to be ignored because God is actually speaking to you through those dreams. Thank you. Yeah. Let's hear you. Brother Pena, please. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I want to throw more light on these dreams. You know, God gives instructions to the children of God. I, you know, one of the problems that we encounter as a child of God, you know, people felt that they are born again. Most times, they don't give attention to their dreams. All things are passed away, yes. But do you know that God still speaks to dream? Now, this thing happened things, to my friend. Uh, let me say this. If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. The Bible cannot lie. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new, like you said. People don't understand that the scripture, it can be broken. That's the truth. You can't say it is not true. But we are talking about enforcing these new things that have become new. Yeah. Do yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Enforcing, enforcing. Okay, you are free. But enforcing it, it's just like now they, they, there is a lockdown all over the city. Abby, are you sure there is a lockdown? Because there are people moving everywhere. It takes a tax force to do what? To enforce the lockdown. The government of the city declared a lockdown. But people are moving around. In fact, I'm surprised that people are still going from Asaba to their village in Anambra State. Somebody left here yesterday to Uromi and went and came back. The borders are porous. It is the work of pastors. Just like the uh, law enforcement agents. Pastors are new creation law enforcement agents. Everything God has said to us in the New Testament. Pastors are the new creation law enforcement agents. Are you hearing me? If God say you are here, are you hearing me? You as a believer can enforce it. Or, and with the help of a pastor, you enforce it. Set, get your hands off here. Because Satan is partially deaf. You know, the, the Bible says that uh, the seed of the woman will bruise. I'm just saying it in a comical way. The seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. The guy, you know, they hear what? You know, they hear at all. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? The forces of darkness have taken this time that churches are not meeting to, you know, go on rampage. Do all manner of nonsense. Praise God. Why? Because they are free to fly. When children of God gather, they free and, and, and pray and worship. The frequency of power that comes from the church is enough to stop from churches worldwide. It's enough to stop forces that fly in the atmosphere. They can flow freely. Do you understand? There's a cloud of power that ascends from the church when we praise God and when we worship. So it intercepts them. So now, scripture is true. Uh, it's right. All things are passed away. New, all things have become new. But we are talking about enforcing it. There is a lockdown. Yes, people are moving around. Go to markets. People are still selling. Are you hearing me? Exchanging, uh, exchanging uh, money. No sanitization. Do you understand what I'm talking about? But you see, if you don't, you know, if you don't release a tax force uh, 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 or law enforcement agents to enforce the lockdown, you will discover that the word of the governor or the word of the authority of the state or the nation that say people should not move around is as good as nothing. That's when, that's where uh, 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 the work of a man of God comes in or the work of a believer on the, in, in their personal life. Enforcement. Now, back to what you're saying. Yeah, like, like what I'm just trying to put across to us is this. You know, Christians, most of us suffer these things called dreams. Just because we are hearing from different men of God and with different understanding and their approaches and all that. Because even I myself, a witness, I, I suffered a lot to this. Because I understand that when I got married newly, God was revealing to me concerning my father's, father's house, all what is happening there, all the trees in my father's house concerning the family. And I ignored them. I ignored them and born again. Do you know that I got married and I suffered it for seven years? Childlessness. Mm. 
Mm. How child. many years? Seven years. Seven years. Not until I rise up to the occasion and prayed, and prayed a prayer concerning those those powers, those trees in my father's compound. And when I prayed that prayer, and it's the same dream, they took me in the same way to my father's compound to a tree, a pear, a, a, tree, a pear tree, and uh, there's a lot of seed on it. And they were like, "Okay, I have disturbed them enough." Two people came out from the tree. I've disturbed them enough. He said, "Okay, you are free. Just take pluck from the fruit." Now look at that. Look at that. Are you listening, people? Are you listening to what he's sharing? Seven years of childlessness, and when he arose in radical, if I die, I die prayer. If I perish, I perish prayer. He had a dream. I'm interested. Are you hearing? And then two people came out of an ancient tree in the dream of the night and say you have disturbed us enough and now say pluck please continue now i had to call my wife my wife came and we start plucking from the tree do in the you, dream the, in the dream mm. do you know that while plucking from the tree a a a, a bed an asian bed came out from the same tree and asked me who gave you the authority to pluck from this tree wow and i said your people asked me to do so and he gave me a line a line of limitation that i should not enter from this uh, point to this point that I should only pick from here but I had to pick from here and enter to the other uh, point and pick from there before you know with this the bird rushed on me and hold my hand and wanted to cut my hand and I hold the head and hit it on the floor the bird died only for me to wake up in the morning at my window I saw the bird physically at my window wow. dead <laughs> you see now when the bird died three days after my wife conceived wow that was what dream can do. Three days after. Three days. Are you telling us this thing <laughs> in imagination or physical? Three days after. This is this is free. This is me. Three days. About me. Three days, three days after. after. My wife mm-hmm. conceived. Conceived. And I know that's your daughter. Yeah. yeah her that's name. My daughter. Favor Anosike. Favor Anosike. So it's a girl and it's a young, vibrant girl in this church. Just look at. Let may you not live a Christian life that is ignorant of supernatural realities. Thank you for sharing that deep experience. Let's hear from you. Who has spoken? You have spoken to us. Let's hear from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, one of the challenges that we Christians have is that, you know, because of our level of ignorance, we feel everything is okay. Uh, we cannot be more Christian than the people who started this Christianity. From the stories we hear in the Bible. Mm. More because, Christian than Joseph. Yes. You see. Um, okay, let's say Joseph was not a Christian because now I know those of you that are analysts of the scripture. You will tell me that Joseph was not a Christian. I agree. He was, he was not born again. I agree. <laughs> but so let me now remove Christian there. But you cannot be more spiritual. Than Joseph, who was first, he carried Jesus in his hand. <clears throat> Have you met Jesus? Have you seen him? A man, you are, are you more spiritual than the man who carried him in his hand? And God warned him in a dream. Can you imagine? Let's, let, please continue. So, if you take uh, uh, cognizance of uh, the life of Joseph, mm. you let's hear you God, God, you know, revealed to him in the dream, he quickly. You know, took the baby and the mother and went as instructed by God. Many of us, the reason God can decide not to reveal anything to us, you know, through dream. Some of us feel that dreaming is bad. Dreaming is good. It's a good thing. Dreaming is an eye opener. Dreaming is a, it's an avenue for you to start seeking for solution. You know, there are so many people who are saved through their dream. But many of us will dream that, and this is what we do on a daily basis. Every now and then, we Christians will dream one particular dream or the other. But we tend to actually ask for solution. If you take, uh, 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 for instance, in the, in the olden days, that's in the Bible, in Israel, throughout the reign of so many kings, there's no time that they will go to war without going to first of all ask and inquire from God with what is the mind of God concerning this war they are going for. That is the, what dream can do. And so many other people can, they have dreams, and those dreams have saved so many empires so many from you know either being destroyed via war or being destroyed by famine 
Look at Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar had so many, you know, dreams. That is why he was so attached to Daniel. Even when Daniel, you know, um, so many people walked again, used Daniel to, you know, for punish Daniel. But in as much as Daniel, because he had the power of the power of interpretation, he was so dear to King Nebuchadnezzar, who was not even born again, who does not who have you know a God that they worship. You understand? Look at what happened in the, in the, in the during the time of Pharaohs. When how Joseph, how did Joseph come about and become a prime minister? It was through the power of dream. Pharaoh had a dream and he was confused. He was looking for people who interpret that dream. It was through Joseph's uh, power of interpretation, through God's enablement, that he was able to inquire from Joseph, who represented, he was a servant of God, that he was able to know that there would be famine in the land of Egypt for seven uh, uh, good years of famine and seven, seven years of plenty and Follow suit by seven years of famine. It was true dream. So even the, those that uh, 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 um, uh, that never believe in God, they believe so much in dream. I keep having this guy. If not God, that God delivered me and brought me to a, 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 a deliverance uh, believing church, I was always having issues. Every now and then, uh, you see me. I experience, you know, uh, near success syndrome. If you look at me from far, you feel that everything is okay. But everything down within me, things are going bad. Any business I go into, it will go bad. If I invest any money, it will go bad. If I begin to narrate to you what I have experienced as a believer. I was a believer. I believe strongly in God. I believe to be saved and all that. But this power of dream. I can, you, for instance, if I want to do something and at times you see me dreaming. At times I will dream and have sex in the, in, in, you know, in the dream. And when I wake up, I feel it's not a bad thing. Thank God I ask for forgiveness. There were so many things God was actually, you know, talking to me about. But there was nobody to actually analyze those dreams to me. There was nobody. And many of us were equally in this kind of shoe. Where we don't have anybody to analyze. And when we are privileged to have people to analyze, we don't ask for. It's better you go and ask and they tell you everything is okay. It's better than for you to, you know, continue to have repeated dreams, warnings upon warnings of how God will deliver you, yet you are not able to go and ask. So it's a very major challenge that we need to address. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wow. This is amazing. Let's hear from you finally, Esther, before we go into different types of um, uh, evil dreams that you need to deal with combating evil dreams, strange dreams. Yeah, let's hear from you. Praise the Lord. Yeah, hallelujah. I just want to appreciate God for the church where I worship. Indeed, it has delivered me from many dreams. Hallelujah. I used to see myself... Many, many evil dreams. Many evil the dreams. The effect of many evil dreams. Yeah, many evil dreams. I used to see myself in the dream of the night when a woman would come to me and collect something from me. Then I take it as nothing, as one of those things also, before coming to this church. So when I visited the church, I talked to the pastor about it. After much more, he prayed. Why I'm saying this is because... I'm the type of person that norm I don't normally see my flu. Maybe once in six months or once in a year or so. And I'm just ignorant about it. So after the deliverance, after prayers, the following day, I saw myself in the vision of the night drinking a very big Fanta. And my friend asked me to share the Fanta with her. I refused. Intentionally, I don't want to give it to her. I do not know why. So the morning of that same day, I saw myself, I messed up myself on the bed, like my flow was out because I saw myself drinking a very big Fanta in the dream. So I came to him, I was like, that is you, I'm now seeing my flu. So it's very essential to take note and, of Until and now, it has never caught. Yes, till now, it has been constant. How like, many years now? For the past four years now, my flow has been constant. Then it used to be twice a year, once in six months. Are but you really serious about yes, what? Yes, I'm very serious. It's very constant. Now my flu like That's on it. a regular basis, like it's very constant. Thank you. <laughs> oh, quite serious. Yes, let's hear so your agape. I, there's something I also understand about life too. There are some people that I've met that don't dream. And they don't even understand that they are being deprived of some secrets yes, yes. of they their are, life. They are, they are, they are dream they, blockers. They are blocked. Their dreams are blocked. There are forces. They dream but they don't remember. Why? Because you see, information is a is, is a tool for warfare. Information is a tool for warfare. So those who don't remember, they say they don't dream. The truth is that from childhood, the dream memory card has been removed from them. Let me hear from you. So I 
I met a friend and I was surprised when each time I'm trying to narrate my dreams to, to her, she'll be like, what are you talking about that? It sounded strange to her. And I told her at the time, I said, babe, I think, I feel you are, God, uh, the enemies are depriving you from some, some blessings. Because I didn't understand this part that you just explained that they actually dream. And they yeah, there are dream back. blockers. There are forces that block dream. It's with the ministration will minister to people every day. Any now listen to me. Any one of you you dream and don't remember. Hello. <laughs> it's a small thing. Hallelujah. It's a small thing. If you want, hallelujah. I'll pray for you. Within 48 hours, you start remembering your dream. It's not a uh, go and come. It's not try your luck. It's not uh, it's not it's 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 as good. A, this thing is a skill God has given. Within 48 hours. Except you didn't sleep. Because there are dream, dream blockers. If you don't see, let me ask you a question. If the wise men that came to Jesus Christ, if they didn't see, they would have returned to Herod. And Herod would, out of anger, kill them. Is that correct? And equally trace Jesus. If, the, if Joseph didn't see in a dream, he will remain there. And then Herod will succeed. Even God had to humble himself. See the humility of God. God did not say, I'm almighty. Herod, you cannot kill Jesus that I have sent to save the world. God had to humble himself, communicated an information to man through dream, and say, run. Do what? Carry this baby and run. Stay in Egypt. Don't come back till I tell you. Otherwise, it was warned in a dream. Sometimes many people see their pastor in a dream or they see a pastor in a dream, a popular man of God, especially those that they love or like, or they see a particular person that they pray that in the church or that pray with them. Sometimes it's not the person you are seeing in the dream. The person you are seeing in the dream is not the person. It's God. I mean, it's the angel of the Lord. Angels of God using the face of somebody to minister to you. Because many of you, if you see angels... And you see the real face of some angel, you will not be able to stand. You will faint. Angel who have not talked about Jesus Christ. Hello? There are angels. Angels are in categories. For example, if you see angels that are warriors, there are warrior angels. That are angels that are warriors. Angels bear names. Angels answer names according to their work. There are angels of prosperity. If you see angels of prosperity, they are always smiling. Yes. They are always what? Smiling. I'm not, I'm not joking. Angels of prosperity are always smiling. We're not talking about angels, but let me just digress a little. Angels of prosperity are always smile. Angels of warfare, they know they smile. Angels of war, they are what? When you see their leg alone, it's like a caterpillar. Hallelujah. Angels of mercy. Angel, uh, angels of children are like children. Cherubim and Seraphim, they are like children. Yes. Yes. Angels of children. They always behave, beholding the face of God. In that, because, they are, they are, because of the innocency of children. Praise God somebody. So sometimes angels will not. Uh, one day my wife encountered uh, one of the angels that walk uh, with me. And <laughs> she was scared. She woke up scared. She woke up scared. Say, Jesus, what did I just see? I said, is the leg she saw? You know the leg? He said, the leg is like three. Now, if you see the angel in the funeral, some angel, if you say, the hair is as long from the back to the ground. Do you understand what I'm talking about? God is too much. So some, that's why sometimes God will step this thing down and you see the face of your pastor, you see the face of your man of God, you see the face of a particular friend, you know, otherwise. This, the devil also does the same. The devil can wear mask. You understand? The forces of darkness, witchcraft persons, they can be attacking you and use the face of somebody that is close to you to make you think that is a person. If you see somebody attacking you, naturally speaking, I mean, don't just naturally, don't just think straight and think, oh, I saw you in the dream and you, maybe you see a friend attacking you, uh, carrying gun and pointing at you and then you wake up and say, oh, I saw you, you were pointing gun at me. No. The devil is also using the technology to deceive you, to deceive God bless you. Now let's move on. 
All right. Praise God, somebody. So hear me as we begin to run to conclusion so that we begin to give you examples of evil dreams that you need to combat. And then some of dreams and their meanings. God uses dreams as an important vehicle for conveying, mes conveying messages that will help people to fulfill their destinies. God uses dreams. Now, there are two types of dreams. There are positive dreams and then other dreams are negatives. Negative ones are de dreams that are, has to do with destiny destruction. Positive ones are dreams that have to do with destiny prosperity, destiny building. Hallelujah. So understand that dreams are very important, even from scripture. Praise God somebody. Now, we're talking about combating strange dreams. There are some dreams that can be classified as strange dreams. We're going to be talking, I know many of you have examples of strange dreams you, need, you can share. Now, there are some dreams that can be said to be strange dreams. How do you combat them? We'll come to that. But let's look at some examples. These are strange dreams. These are dreams that have strange, a strange agenda to carry out in people's lives. Hallelujah. Let's explore and look at some of them. I, I, I give you an example of uh, one, one strange dream. One of one strange dream is a uh, uh, one example of a strange dream. One example of a strange dream is self-duplication. Dream of self-duplication. This is a situation that you are just one person, but if you are seen, but in, in the dream you'll be seeing somebody that look exactly like you. Self-duplication. One daughter of mine. One daughter of mine, one blessed daughter of mine in this church, and then uh, 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 she's now in the movie industry, and God is helping her. She used to have a dream. She see herself looking like herself, and then she see. Don't forget, I'm talking about the dream of self duplication, and she's seen this other person. Oh my God, this other person is the same her. No different. It's not like the person look like her. No, this is me. She's looking at that. This person is me. But this person is looking more beautiful, more glorious, wearing better clothes, driving cars. That is like she's seeing herself in a in like something she wished to be, but it's herself. And this happened for years. She was delivered and set free. And her movie career picked up. Her movie career. As a matter of fact. When we did the deliverance, that person she was seen as her duplicated person, as a, as a duplicate of herself, was using her acting talent to act movies in the realm of the spirit. I know you will ask me, Pastor, do, is there a movie acting in the realm of the spirit? Everything you see that happens in the realm of the physical happens in the realm of the spirit. In less than two months, her acting career has picked up. She was able to pay for shop, Pay for house. I know the root and genesis of her career. The duplicate person that she was seeing as herself in the dream was using her talent and star for acting to act in the realm of the spirit. It's a strange dream. If you are seeing yourself, you are two persons. A young man, you know, there's this revelation of a young man. He, one of him is male. Then the other one is him. The same person but with breast a duplicate person but this other personality has breast and physically he has tendencies for homosexuality do you understand are you hearing me he has tendency are you hearing me he talks like a woman he walks like a woman this duplicate person in the dream you see in the realm of the spirit she's he's a duplicate he, he's a duplicate this duplicate person has breast has everything that is in the body of a woman but the same face. So, one strange dream is the dream of seeing yourself duplicated. This means that in the realm of the spirit, the devil has given you a twin substitute. Do you understand? Who is busy stealing your virtues and cutting away all the good things that are meant to come to you. When somebody has a duplicate personality, they can be going for an interview and the duplicate person will go and appear. So people are seeing the duplicate person. Do you understand what I'm talking about? A young man went for an interview. 
by the time he got to interview, and by the time it was his turn, they were angry. Why should he come back again? Because as they asked him, are you not the one that came in before? They asked him, you have come in before. Now, what happened? Somebody with his real identity and personality and face went in for the interview before him, are you hearing me? ahead of him, and then when he was seated for the interview, a cockroach came out on top of his suit, on his jacket, and was greeting the interviewers. Good morning, I greet you people. That's a funny way of saying it. You know what I mean? When you are going to be interviewed by a bank, for example, and you are seated, and a cockroach is greeting, some, uh, greeting the people, the panel of interviewers, greeting them, hello, hello. <laughs> the first impression that the interviewers will get is this, this guy is dirty. You are in the industry. You understand? You are in a corporate organization. You, don't, you Even if you are the one interviewing the person, you ask the person, please, can you go out and take care of yourself first of all? Praise God, somebody. And then by the time he came in, they asked him, they were angry. He said, something wrong with you. Were you not the one that came before? Why? His duplicate personality has gone ahead. <laughs> oh. I will tell you a story. Lastly, before I hear from any other person about any strange dream, I say it clearly. My cousin, and he was engaged with this girl. This girl can speak in tongues to heavens. Ah! Anytime she's in our family house, her tongue is what wakes everybody up. Her speaking in tongues. Oh my God. I used to feel I don't know how to pray or speak in tongues when I hear her until the wedding. Because some people have allowed speaking in tongues. Thinking that for the fact that you speak in tongues and there are things that are deeply rooted in your life that need to be pulled out, that need to be addressed, doesn't mean you should not address it. Did you hear what I said? You will not, make, you will not go to hellfire. You will still make heaven, but you will suffer some things on earth. So some people are busy speaking very high sounding tongue which is good. I believe in speaking in tongue. Ah! My own is crazy. It's groaning. But something happened in the wedding. They have, I mean, the, my, uh, my cousin have concluded to marry this lady. Then it was the reception. Who was wedding? My immediate elder brother was wedding. My immediate elder brother. And then when it was uh, uh, at the reception, you know reception, they called these uh, musicians to play. And the musicians were playing. Hallelujah. You know, musicians, crazy musicians, all of a sudden, as if something overtook the girl's personality, and she started dancing. She started dancing. At a point, everybody in the wedding knew that it's no more this girl that is dancing. And then she started dancing. And then when the musician, you know, this crazy, uh, uh, yes, dancing like snake, when you know, this crazy uh, 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 wedding reception musicians, when they see somebody that is dancing, they will put fire. They were just increasing it. And then the girl just started dancing like snake and all that. People were trying to stop her. She will, you know, pull, uh, remove their hands. Something obviously has taken her over. My cousin woke up to me for the first time. He said, brother, <laughs> what do you think of this girl? I look at him. Obviously, what he saw scared him. He saw that this is not the lady I'm engaged to something else this lady goes to a good church she's committed but there is something hallelujah eventually that is how my cousin out of fear because he saw a different person manifest out of the lady he was to marry then we were all ignorant but spiritual pride will not allow the lady because she's a minister in a church Spiritual pride will not allow her admit to the fact that she needs help. There is a duplicate personality. So that duplicate personality manifested, disgraced her, broke her relationship, and that is it. So it's a strange dream when you see yourself yeah, as a duplicate person. What do you do? Seek deep deliverance and all that. I want the contact uh, uh, of this ministry is on the, on the screen. You can reach us can reach me personally and let's guide you how you can be totally delivered i don't mean just lay hand on you and you fall down and get up you can fall down a thousand times and nothing falls out now falling down is not bad that's not what we're saying 
Hallelujah. But there are many falling down that is just fire tormenting the demon. Are you hearing me? Falling down in the place of power is different from casting out an evil spirit and casting out casting them out properly. There are many wandering spirits because people just say, out, 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 out to where? Out to where? It is well. Oh, come. Maybe one day we will treat uh, uh, how to cast out devils properly.